Greetings from Norfolk, Virginia. My name is Colonel Pat Kinsman. I'm the Norfolk District Commander, and thank you for joining me as the Corps of Engineers publishes a draft report on the Florida Keys Coastal Storm Risk Management Study. In this very unusual time for our nation of COVID-19, I felt it was important for us to speak to you directly regarding this important study. Although we cannot entirely conduct business as usual, the Army Corps of Engineers continues to move forward with our mission of providing vital engineering solutions for the toughest water resource issues facing our citizens. Most recently, our Army Corps of Engineers teams around the nation work to provide alternate care facilities in the face of COVID-19. But in addition to these near-term urgent actions, our agency has a mission to look at long-term risk reduction along our coastlines. Similar studies have been completed and are ongoing all along the East Coast, including in New York, Norfolk, Charleston, and directly north of the Florida Keys in Miami-Dade County. You might ask, why is the Norfolk District working in Florida? I can tell you we are working because the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers, as the premier engineering organization in the nation, works as one enterprise, providing top quality engineering services wherever they're needed. The Jacksonville District, which normally supports South Florida, has a large number of other projects to execute. Additionally, the Norfolk District has recent experience in completing coastal storm risk management studies, having just completed one here in Norfolk. So we had teams with this expertise ready to support the South Florida area. And we are currently executing studies in not only the Florida Keys, but also in Miami-Dade and Collier counties. We are honored to support the citizens of Florida. This Florida Keys Coastal Storm Risk Management Study has a goal of reducing the impact of future storm events on the Keys, especially from storm surge, to reduce economic damage and risk to life and safety. This is not a new topic for this region. Coastal storms are a reality of life in the Florida Keys, and the risks continue to increase over time with rising sea levels and changing weather patterns. Our U.S. Army Corps of Engineers team, in partnership with Monroe County, our outstanding non-federal sponsor, has worked hard over the past 18 months to get to this point in the study process. We have already held several public meetings in the Keys to share the scope and study alternatives with residents and stakeholders. Although it is not possible for our team to hold another public meeting at this time, it's very important that we are able to both explain this study to you and hear your questions and comments. In order to ensure that it is possible, we will provide options for engagement, including webinars and office hours where you can call and talk to a study team member. You will find details about these opportunities on the project website and a link is provided in the comments section of this video. This report release kicks off a 45-day comment period for the draft feasibility report and environmental impact statement. Comments can be submitted via our website by clicking on the comments link on the right-hand side of the page. The Florida Keys Coastal Storm Risk Management Study is a three-year, $3 million federal study. It has involved a great deal of coordination with Monroe County, local, state, and federal agencies, and community stakeholders. The Florida Keys are a special and unique area, unlike anywhere else in our nation or the world. The chain of islands draws tourists from all over the world because the Keys are one of a kind. This uniqueness is also why a typical approach to reducing coastal storm risks is not compatible with the features and resources that make the Keys different than any other coastal community. We have not suggested building significant flood walls or surge barriers in the Keys because these types of features would not fit with the area's unique environment and recreational resources or be effective on small, low-lying islands surrounded by water. Monroe County is very adept in resilience and has conducted its own studies with many complementary measures recommended for the near and longer term. This multi-layered response is necessary in addressing the complex and multifaceted nature of coastal storm risk in the Florida Keys. At this point in the study, a tentatively selected plan has been identified. The plan focuses on three features, constructing shoreline stabilization structures in the areas of US-1 Overseas Highway that are vulnerable to washout, 
reducing risk to both residential and commercial buildings through non-structural measures, and finally, protection of critical infrastructure. The US-1 shoreline stabilization measures will prevent washout of some of the roadway's most vulnerable sections to minimize time lost in returning to the Keys after a storm event. This is absolutely critical in maintaining resilience of the Keys. The non-structural measures recommended to reduce risk to Keys development include elevation and acquisition of the most vulnerable residential homes and flood-proofing commercial structures. Finally, and of great importance, is the protection of critical infrastructure, which is often needed immediately before, during, and after storm events to maintain the community's health and safety. This includes emergency response facilities such as, such as medical, fire, and police, as well as shelters and wastewater facilities. The U.S. Army Corps of Engineers is just one piece in a much larger puzzle of local, state, federal, and private contributions to this region's overall resiliency effort. The tentatively selected plan can and should be integrated with work by others to provide a more holistic approach to reduce coastal storm risk in the Keys. The draft feasibility report documents the analysis that led to the selection of the tentatively selected plan. There are many issues that must be considered when developing a project of this magnitude, such as environmental and cultural impacts. The environmental impact statement that was prepared with the feasibility report helps spell out the plan's benefits and effects. We are very excited to bring this plan to you and look forward to your feedback. The tentatively selected plan will undergo a series of rigorous reviews by the public as well, the, as, well as other local, state, and federal agencies. An extensive policy and technical review will also take place within our agency as well. There's still a long way to go before construction of the Florida Keys Coastal Storm Risk Management Project could occur. At the end of the three-year study, the goal is to have a report signed by the Chief of Engineers, which can then be sent as a recommendation for the U.S. Congress to authorize. Once authorized by Congress, the project could then move forward to further engineering and design and eventually to construction. We want your input to make this a better project that will work toward the goal of preserving the Florida Keys as a unique coastal community. From the entire Norfolk District, U.S. Army Corps of Engineers, thank you and stay safe.